Good day, everybody. Rob here once again with WestPacificWeather.com. I'm going to start off the update today on the 12th of April 2011 with a earthquake update here, just showing a several earthquakes actually taking place in the past 24 hours here along the east coast of Honshu. Uh, actually, one here all the way over on the uh, west side of Honshu, a 5-2 here, uh, just northeast of Kanazawa. But big one this morning was actually this 6-2, just right around Chiba here. I really did feel it this morning here in the Yokohama area. And it's only about 50 miles away from us. Uh, that was actually caused some fires up in the Fukushima Daiichi region up in that reactor this morning. So pretty scary scenario with that. And here in just the last two hours, it was another 6.0 here just no south of Fukushima as well. This one right here. And then right after that, that's red indicating the last hour, a 4.7 aftershock of that. So still, uh, everybody says that this is kind of uh, still aftershocks from the major earthquake, the 9.0. But that one was way out here. I think this is starting to be separate event going on over here but uh, still continuous earthquakes out here in the Honshu region though uh, and every day we've been seeing these so nothing really new at this moment and uh, hopefully they'll start to taper off here in the next uh, coming week good news is that as far as the geology is concerned very active as far as the meteorology and the atmosphere out here uh, very 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 quiet uh, just off the southeastern portion of the box here you kind of see this little flare-up of a uh, convection down here this is actually Invest 99 whiskey. Uh, really not looking at any development out of there. Uh, I'm really kind of surprised it isn't invest, probably due to the lack of uh, convection overall all the way across the uh, Western Pacific here. But sea surface temperatures are conducive in that region for development. Uh, but as is, would if it did track off towards the northwest and eventually northeast, much cooler temperatures up here around the Honshu area. This is showing about 50 to 60 degrees temperatures up here. And yet, wind shear is around 5 to 10 knots throughout this entire area. you got to remember that it is not that far away from the equator. Equator right down in here. This is only approximately 10 degrees out. So any convection that comes out of here will not have enough Coriolis force to spin up. It's really got to get north of this 10 degree latitude right in here to start to spin up. And this is where that invest area is. So if it does get north, it will encounter those cooler sea surface temperatures and the higher wind shear. Thus, uh, not looking at any development there due to the lack of Coriolis force so close to the equator. And in the south pack, watching lots of... Of convection all with this uh, monsoon trough up here actually invest 92 sierra still spinning off here just off the western territory uh still watching that is that it really has been going through phases of burst of convection and dying out and bursting back up so basically diurnal zone is the afternoon heating out there right now so you could still see some more convection and likely see this die down at night but just one thing to note we still need to watch this because if this does uh, start to spin up it could looks like it does have the potential to develop but right now models really aren't picking up on it just showing it uh basically do these bursts of convection over the coming weeks and one thing I do want to pull, uh, show right here is this one right out here not any invest on it yet but I do think something we need to watch it does have some rotation in it and it really is a widespread area of convection but very very disorganized right now and I think it's just monsoonal trough but just something to watch could bring a lot of precipitation out here to uh, the uh, Solomon Islands and possibly New Caledonia and if it does get wrapped up in the monsoonal trough could drift out to the west so just something initial analysis on it and something we could watch here down in Australia but but as already stated, high pressure is dominating out here in the West Pack and the Northeast Monsoon, uh, subsequently uh, developing off of that down here in the Philippines, producing a strong northeasterly wind throughout this entire region. And this looks like it's going to continue like that over the next 72 to 96 hours with real no uh, tropical waves coming through. So really kind of a dry time down there over the uh, Philippines recently. And after this high pressure blows off, another low will uh, move over uh, Hokkaido, kind of bring some precipitation uh, to the west coast of Honshu on the 14th and the 15th. But otherwise... That's really the most significant weather going on, only if the uh, geology kind of quieted down as well, uh, as well as the meteorology. But that is all for today, everybody. A very short update, not really anything too exciting going on today. So uh, just kind of updating everybody and trying to keep these uh, going daily. So I hope everybody has a great day. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, as usual, you can post them here at westernpacificweather.com or on the YouTube channel. So thanks again, and everybody have a great day. Bye.